the most important ad in all of fantasy football this week. A guy rostered in just in one half of 1% of ESPN leagues. The one, the only New York J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, oh Jets. Here we go. Mike White! The obvious number one waiver wire priority ad future Hall of Famer Mike White. Fuck. Here we go again. For the New York Jets. Uh... You know, Gunsling and Joe 2.0 reincarnate. Just, I love everything about it. I just, the second quarterback in NFL history to throw for 400 yards in his debut, and the first one and only quarterback to throw for 400 yards and three scores in his NFL debut. Mike White. We have talked about (laughs) four or I don't even know four Jets players as ads. Too many. It's really too many ads. And you know, you know why they're ads? Because the offense worked. That's why they're ads. Because the offense actually worked. We talked to Michael Carter, Ty Johnson, Crowder, I mean, what, how how widely rostered is Corey Davis? Corey Davis should be rostered everywhere. I am so excited for Corey Davis now. Uh, Corey Davis rostered in 70% of leagues. I mean, that should be 100, I think, after what we saw to Mike White. <laughs> Literally. You the do guy, realize that, that, that a week ago, they got absolutely curb stomped by the Patriots, right? That's fine. Mike White also came in and threw a touchdown on like his first drive or second drive against them. He granted he threw a pick. I don't care. I don't care. He owned Cincinnati. He did. He also owned me. He cost me a lot of money. Did he really? (laughs) Yeah. 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 Well, uh, the Jets were the first underdog of more than seven points to win outright this season. Um. I may or may not have put uh, a money line parlay on the Rams, Cincinnati Bengals, and uh, Buffalo Bills. And uh, yeah, oh. it turned out very badly. Oh. Yeah. 37. Also, one of the worst helmet to helmet hits uh, penalties that I've ever seen in my entire life was called in that Bengals game which uh, cost the Bengals a chance to try to come back down the field and score and uh, made me lose money. Completed 82% of his passes. Yeah, that's pretty good. The Bengals defense was looking pretty stout. I mean, they shut down Baltimore a week ago. That's the craziness of the NFL on a week-to-week basis where they shut down one of the best offenses in the NFL and then get lit up by Mike White. Yeah. At Indy next week, don't love it. Uh, home against Buffalo, home against Miami after that. So the matchups aren't that great, but holy crap. Mike freaking White. We talk about again, like this weekend was the weekend of the backup quarterback. And also the, this is why maybe you should think about and waiting to play your freaking rookies. Zach Wilson, My- not ready. Justin Fields, not ready. Trey Lance, not ready. My cousin literally just sent me a text message that somebody put a thousand dollars on Mike White to lead the the league in passing yards this week at 125 to one bet. They put a thousand dollars on it. No, that's gotta be photoshopped. I mean, uh, the this says that that's is on prop swap. So it's pretty crap. legit. That's yeah, cool, right? You have, you know how I know if somebody, whoever bids that has too much money? Yeah, as if you're putting a grand on Mike White to lead the, yeah. Yeah, because then you literally don't give a shit if you lose a thousand dollars. It's true. That's for somebody with a lot of money if you're just throwing around. Like, yeah, never could not Mike, do that. Mike White, baby. <laughs> 